Well, if you have any stray cats, Daniel, roaming your neighborhood, many are happy living outside, but most of them actually could use some TLC to make sure they have enough food, enough water and shelter when the weather gets bad. That's why a local scout is teaming up with a nonprofit organization for his Eagle Scout project. How and why did he come up with the idea? Well, join me live from Louisville is 16 year old Ryan Schindler. And from Indy's West Side, Don Benefil, the program director for Indy Neighborhood Cats. You too, good morning to you. Ryan, I want to start with you and, and, and find out why. Why did you pick this project? Um, well, at my uh, old house, I had a bunch of stray cats that were around. And uh, basically, we just uh, gave them a home out back and uh, fed them. And we know that it's a problem and know that it needs a solution. So. That's it. There's a problem. There can be a solution and you aim to fix it. I understand you spent the weekend building cat condos and feeding stations. How many are you actually making? We are making four cat condos and four feeding stations for the cats. And we're seeing some pictures there of you actually building those. Dawn, tell me what Indy Neighborhood Cat does. Sure. Indy Neighborhood Cats is the only team based solely in the field addressing cat overpopulation outside. Our organization works in the field in some of our most underserved neighborhoods um, to help residents there care for the cats that are already in their neighborhood outside. So we're typically embedded and, and this project specifically is geared um, towards mobile home parks, which we know are a very um, a very condensed population of outdoor cats. Yeah, how are these cat condos, you know, the ones that Ryan here, they're making, are they really needed and where will they be going? Absolutely. So these will be installed in a local trailer park um, here in Indianapolis. We're doing pilot projects um, where we'll go into these mobile home parks and uh, trap, fix, and vaccinate these cats um, who are outside free roaming and breeding through a method called trap, neuter, return. So in partnership with local clinics like Indy Humane, uh, we will get the trailer park cats outside fixed and vaccinated. And these shelters are going to provide a place for these cats to go um, outside of going underneath trailers and finding alternate housing mm. that may not be desirable. Oh, great. Hey, Ryan, now, before we run out of time, I want to get back to you and talk to you about how did you come up with the design and I'm assuming it took a lot of time what went into all these plans and how you figured this all out um well I sat down with my grandfather mm. he uh, is really good with woodworking mm. and so we just sat down for a while and came up with an idea to get them insulated and uh, nice and ready for the cats okay so I guys I want to say it again 16 year old Ryan Schindler saw a problem came up with a solution, sat down with his grandpa, who has all kinds of wisdom to be able to do that. I have a feeling, Mr. Ryan Schindler, you're gonna go big places in this world. Hats off to you for your work in, in, in making a, a solution here to a big problem and thank doing so with your grandfather. Both of you, good to see you. Don, thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. Yeah, for more information on In the Neighborhood Cats, you can find out that information, fox59.com slash links.